Had to break up my section And I'm done with the morning No, I needed a blessing I checked it Knew every morning I cannot be in the prison God, you different Take to the top Stop Nigga, I'm here I'm winning They need a glock Don't stop Cause I'm making a difference Give it my all huh. Got you the reason I'm living Still that I'm tripping But you hold me down I'm with you I know what you about Show me the way Show me the truth When I'm with you I do not have to doubt Give me the key let it easy. Show me the world, I'ma follow the route. Let it I'm up. Not gon' drop what I know that it's a route. I cannot be in the prison. God, you different. Take to the top. Stop. Nigga, I'm here. I'm winning. Bring me the glass. Don't stop, cause I'm making a difference. Give it my arm. God, you the reason I'm living. I'ma make it up. If I see something that I don't need, I'ma take it out. Been doing favors now. I'm not a kid, trauma I'm chasing up And I'm not finna lean, follow my dreams God, you giving me favor now Got a problem with me, got a problem with God I cannot promise you'll make it up And I can't be afraid, I'm one of your children Take your time trying to make me, never replace me One in a million, why would I ever compare? I know that I'm rare, a wonderful feeling And God is fulfilling And it takes some time, but I'm down for the healing Not gonna do it again, gave me the menu I can't be slight to the sin I'm finna walk in my power, made in your image I been down praying for hours, strong, fearless Know that I'm never a coward, you love to see me with power I cannot be in the prison God, you different, take to the top Stop, look at I'm here, I'm winning They need a glock Don't stop, cause I'm making a difference Give it my all You two family, what's good with you? It's your boy, 2A in LA, and as always, fam, anything I say in this episode, prior episodes, or future episodes, is just my personal opinion. Don't take it as fact. Don't take it as law. Always do your own homework and come up with your own conclusions. Right about now, fam, I should go ahead and tap that like button for your boy. If you're new to the channel, I want to say welcome. Come on in. You can join the congregation by smashing that subscribe button and requesting all post notifications. And if you are an existing supporter of this channel, I appreciate you more than you can possibly imagine. You are the reason this channel is anything. All right, fam. Let's get into this video. Woo-wee, fam. Fam, there is a lot of heat that's about to come on your screen during this video. Man, I brought out some heavyweights to kind of compare and contrast. Hopefully, if you're considering any of these rifles, it'll be helpful. Uh, if not, just to, to see rifles on this level, I think is going to be fun as well. Let's stop talking about it and let's start being about it. All right, fam, a little while ago, I reviewed this incredible AR-15 rifle right here. This is the Covert Karen Tactical Collaboration AR-15, built on a uh, BCM platform with B5 furniture, comes with a Unity riser mount and an EOTech. I told you guys that I thought this was a phenomenal rifle and it's scoring 89 out of a possible 100 is testimony to that. And I told you at the time I was going to be comparing this rifle with a couple of the best rifles in my collection. My Radiant Weapons Mod 1 and my V7 Terran Tactical Collaboration. So let me let you check out the... Uh, get a good look at the Covert Terran Tactical Rifle, and then we'll get in to the other two. All right, fam. Next up, we have your boys, Radiant Weapon Mod 1 AR-15. Fam, I don't... <laughs> I really don't know what to tell you. This rifle is... Crazy, crazy sexy. Radiant Weapons, they just know how to do it, y'all. The fitment on this rifle is crazy tight. No wobble. No wobble to be found. And of course, you know, it wouldn't be a 2A NLA rifle if I didn't put it together. <laughs> Something crazy. So we got that Unity mount with the EOTech setup. Uh, 
We got that inline, inline magnifier mount on it as well. We got that cloud defense light on it. The only thing I haven't added to it is my laser. That's in route soon, but fam, I told you guys at the time that I thought this rifle was amazing. Amazing. And I felt like at that point, I had a an F1 watchtower before a watchtower became a watchtower, right? I had an F1 um, rifle. I had my Daniel Defense uh, M4A1 uh, rifle, and I had this. And I was like, fam, I don't, I'm good. From an AR-15 perspective, I don't, it doesn't get much better than the Radian Mob 1. And my Daniel Defense and F1s weren't slouches either. So <laughs> I was like, man, look. I'm good, I'm straight, I'm squared away. I don't see myself buying another AR-15 anytime soon. So look fam, I was 10 toes down, I was standing on business, I wasn't getting another AR-15, and then I went to a covert and look, <laughs> woo! V7 TTI collaboration brought you the Sovereign, fam. This rifle is insane. Now, I had already had a V7 Terran Tactical uh, collection uh, with the V7 Terran Tactical Harbinger. And that is the best 308 in my collection. Best 308 I've ever shot, and that's saying something. So, when they came out with this bad boy, it is crazy lightweight fit and finish is outstanding zero wobble fam everything about this is crazy and then i outfitted fam you got that mod light with the pressure switch on it i put the scalar wash mount with that trigicon uh optic setup with the side mount r and mar yeah fam i Terran tactical uh, on it. I mean, look, fam, this rifle is, in my opinion, oh, also at that rail seal forward grip. This rifle, in my opinion, is one of the sexiest ever made. I can't lie. And here's what's crazy, fam it shoots better. It shoots better than it looks. Fam, it is so lightweight. Take off the, the, the optics and all that stuff. This is a sub five pound rifle with like 4.95 pounds. It's crazy lightweight, crazy lightweight. That hyper fire trigger is insanely fast. It shoots and feels like you're shooting a, a little 22. Zero recoil, zero recoil on this bad boy. So the V7 Terran Tactical, it goes crazy. All right, fam, so let's kind of talk about the differences between these guns. So, so my Radiant Weapons Mod 1 retails for about $3,000. Now, obviously, once you put these like bow pro, low profile sights on there, cloud defense, mount package, optic package, yeah, you're gonna run up the rail scales. You're gonna run up the price on this a little bit, without a doubt, you are. But it's well, it, it, it's well worth it. It is a very, very stout rifle. I feel like I could run an unlimited amount of rounds through these things and it would just eat it up. I've never had a malfunction with it, never had an issue with it. This bad boy is a go-getter. It's a go-getter. Like if I was really wanting like a duty style rifle, but a very Gucci, <laughs> duty style rifle. If I was duty duty, I'd probably grab my DDM4 M4A1 Daniel Defense. But this one, if I wanted to have that kind of feel, but also something that's crazy Gucci, yeah, then I would probably grab the Radium Mod 1. The Covert TTI collaboration, it feels more like a race gun. It feels more like a competition rifle. 
crazy muzzle brake on there, tuned to the nines, very lightweight, reminiscent of the V7 Terran Tactical Collection. Cray collaboration, I'm sorry. Crazy trigger. Crazy trigger. Arguably the best trigger of all the rifles that we're talking about today. That Timney trigger, that Timney competition trigger is insane. This gun has zero recoil. It just runs. So if I were trying to kind of decide between my Radian Weapons Mod 1 and the uh, in the Terran Tactical uh, Covert Collaboration, I would say, well, what's, what feel are you going for? What are you going to be using it for? Uh, both of them crazy reliable. This is built on a BCM floor mat. Uh, this is built on a BCM um, format. BCM makes mil spec, really good stuff, but it's tuned like crazy because you got Covert and Terran Tactical <laughs> working on it and Radiant is just rock solid. This is a lighter weight gun. Like I said, it feels more like a competition rifle than kind of a battle rifle. So I would say it depends on what you want. If you're looking for something that's lightweight, fun, goes crazy fast, something you can shoot all day and has very little wear and tear on your body, I would consider the uh, the Terran Tactical Covert collaboration. If you're looking for something that's rough, rugged, battle-tested, and Gucci is all <laughs> out, then I would consider the Radium My One. All right, fam, so that brings us to the V7. Look, fam, I gotta be honest. This is the best AR-15 I ever shot. I own quite a few, like I said, I've shot quite a few. The combination of the weight, the fit and finish, and the accuracy, and the speed, and the trigger. Fam, I gotta say, it's, it's different. It's a different animal. But you know what's also different? The price tag. Price tag is also very, very different. 4,500 MSRP before you add light, before you add rail or forward grip, before you add optic package, before you add the mounts. 4,500 bucks, fam. So, yeah. Yeah, it should be. It should be. Now, here's the thing about this. For some, some of you guys, maybe you're thinking, well, 3,000 for the uh for the radium my one before you put optics on it the um the terran tactical covert is 3600 including mount and optics so really the base rifle is probably closer to 2800 3500 3600 with that included you might be thinking well 35 3600 45 what's the difference well once you get the base rifle you add on an optics package, that's going to be, this optic package right here, including the mount, was probably about 2,500 bucks. Somewhere between two and 2,500 bucks. Add the light and everything, okay, now 3,000. So you take 4,500, add 3,000 to it, this is a like $7,500 rifle the way you see it right here. As compared to this rifle, which feels very similar, but is like $3,500, $3,600 with everything you see here, right? So look fam, I, if, if Covert wanted to, if Terran Tactical wanted to, they could have worked off of a much more expensive platform, but I think what they were trying to accomplish was to give you a rifle that was amazing, that felt like a $4,500 rifle with everything else on it, $7,000 plus dollar rifle, but $3,500, $3,600 bucks, including Optic Package. Now, you just get this bad boy, slap on the light, and you're done. You're done. You're ready to roll. So, yeah, fam, of, of the three, I would say that the Radium Mob 1 and the Covert Terran Tactical Collaboration are pretty different 
rifles like i would say this rifle is kind of a more shooter's gun competition if a gun type of feel to it but still can be used for you know tactical purposes while the radium mod one is a heavier gun feels more rugged uh tighter fitment more duty oriented but if i'm keeping it 100 less fun to shoot uh, than this and they are comparably priced but this one, I think, considering it comes in with optic and everything, it's probably going to come in a few hundred dollars cheaper than the Radium Mod 1. The V7 is insane. The V7 is insane, like I said. The Terran Tactical Covert uh, collaboration is very reminiscent of this gun. It's just done on a PCM platform versus a V7 platform. And yeah, V7 makes, in my opinion, a better gun than BCM does, but BCMs are nothing to, to, to snicker at. And you've got a gun that's, you know, several thousand dollars cheaper with the Terran Tactical Covert collaboration. I love my V7. I'm going to be bringing a couple of other different AR-15s to the platform. So be looking out for that. But yeah, fam, if you're considering a an amazing shooting AR-15 and you don't want to put out the price for a Sovereign. Here's the other thing I'll say about that V7 Terran Tactical Sovereign. Yes, it may be better, but you know what it also is? It's more expensive one. Yes, I said that. But also, it was a limited run and you can't find them. They don't make them anymore. So yes, you can get a V7 Sovereign that is non-Terran Tactical. And that gun probably is going to have better fitment. It's going to be lighter weight, et cetera, et cetera. But it's not going to be tuned like the one I have, nor is it going to be tuned like this one. So, you know, food for thought as well. All right. That's it for this episode, fam. Until next time, as always, take care of one another and peace.